Hi guys, dinosaur friend. We're we're here now. We we gotta watch this. What? You can't say that. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You're correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. X. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. Crystal Star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and his Shadow Sirens? Um, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating to all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x -Not. What? What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them... Uh, we knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, and the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking, so that Mario guy won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. X not out. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that this Mario has the map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on that Mario, uh, what that Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. You don't even know- you don't even know what I look like. Come on, you, ne you never met me. I'm like a friendly Italian man. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I send you, I wonder? I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone's doing at the castle. I will never- will I ever dance the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? Alright, uh, this is another Princess Peach part. Um, from what I remember, it's another boring one. Just cause, um... Most of them are, are pretty lackluster. <laughs> Oh, is this text doing again? Of course it is. So the tech was that computer that is apparently in love with Princess Peach, as we last saw in our endeavors here, for those of you who don't remember. Um, and also for those who are just tuning in. And also for those of those who've never played this game. Or who have, or I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hello, Princess Peach, you have come again. That mail I sent Mario, did it reach him alright? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more of... Is there more you want to know about love? You have exp... exp <laughs> you have expressed regret earlier that uh, you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Where... Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But... It is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. Inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. The reason is love. <laughs> uh, wanting to do something together is part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. And that stops him from feeling love? How dare you, Princess Peach. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. What, what am I supposed to do? You want me to dance? This is bizarre. How in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves? Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Tech, you're really bad at flirting. You should have created like a manly man like Mario or something. All right, I guess. I mean, who wants to dance with themselves? That's kind of awkward. I mean, I feel awkward listening to my own voice already. I mean, like, come on. I must say, though, this is going to feel weird dancing with myself. See, she even said it. And you don't even oblige to give her a new partner. Basically, dance around pressing the buttons on the screen. Pretty simple. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. There we go. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I am really bad at this. Uh, A, okay. X. I pressed the X one right. I always get X and Y mixed up on the uh, GameCube controller. I have no idea why. But on like Xbox and like stuff like that, I'm like fine. I'm like, all right, I know where the X is, but I don't, I have no idea where the X and Y are sometimes for, um, GameCube. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. 
Is this an impulse I feel? Is this impulse I feel a concept known as fun? Oh, I'm supposed to talk monotone for this guy. Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard and send whatever message you want. I don't want to talk like in a robot voice because that's probably kind of annoying. I'd be listening to it and then like I'd be like, ah, I'm re-recording this. Um, I finished tech. Could you send it? It has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze this data from the stands immediately. The data uh, that I thought was fun. Wow, you are such a computer tech. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. No, I think you're weird. I think you're weird, tech. A human thinks you're weird. What are you gonna do, huh? Save my game? Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Alright, so we're done with the Princess Peach part. That one wasn't actually so bad. It's just there are better. Oh, oh, who is this guy? I don't know who you are. Who, who is this new character? He seems pretty cool, though. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. Lord Bowser? Who's that? I don't know, man. He's just... Never heard of him. We just got uh, word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good. Yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Mwehe. Another strange laughter from this game. It's hard to... Mwehe. My lord, you are so super. Uh, so we can super this now. Um, ready to roll, Bowser. I so I lied, I do know who Bowser is. Blow fire on your face! So they, these kind of miniature parts of Bowser is actually some of my favorite moments in Paper Mario. Um, just because they're just fun, even though they're like very simple. Yeah, you can blow fire on those guys. I'm huge! I'm huge! What are you gonna do? Um, I think when you're this big you can just trample over everything, which is pretty cool. Um, I like this part. Can't even fit the castle. <laughs> but yeah, these these kind of miniature parts with Bowser uh, are pretty pretty entertaining in my opinion. Probably one of my you know my favorite part in the game, as I just said, because I totally forgot I just said it, and I'm just stupid like that. Uh, oh hey, welcome to Petalburg again. Eek! Hide everybody. But we're like the same species. Are are we? Or I don't know. Huh? What a wuss. Yes, hi, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Yeah, it's Princess Peach. She looks very happy to see us. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I guess the X-Knot Fortress was in there all along. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. Dot, dot, dot. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming with uh, to my castle with me. <laughs> Clearly she's overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> Grahaha, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Uh, it might even have its perks, you know. <laughs> Bowser, come on. No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! You know, I don't know why you would put it on your window. Of all things you could put a poster, you just put it on your window? I mean, that defeats the, the purpose of your window. Poster? Oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. Great. Just great. Now I look like a huge, mighty king of guy who talks to posters. Aw, oh, Bowser, I, 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 I still love you. It's okay. More Bowser faces. Oh no, glitch punies! No! They're all gonna say goodbye to me. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son? Uh... Now that we get right down to it, I'm, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so uh, come, come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. 
Yes, please. Uh, yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like this from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, I'm sure we'll be back again some point. Yeah, definitely. Take care, guys. I don't know if she was sarcastic or not. I don't know. She seems like she would be sarcastic. See you, Mr. Mario. Bye. Uh, this place is beautiful, but uh, I was really sad that the punies got glitched because uh, some of the coolest moments were with the punies, I guess, like fighting the army and stuff. Uh, but unfortunately, they were glitched. But anyways, glitchiness aside... Um, oh, hey. You hear that? Someone's mailing you. Uh, yeah. What about my Game Boy? Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. Please know I'm fine. I'm more than worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the Crystal Stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them, and I'll email, email again if I cover anything, okay? You must know I miss you, and lately I've dreamt about you the days back in our castle. I hope we spend, uh, we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? Okay, I don't know if Mario's or Mario and Peach have like a girlfriend boyfriend relationship or like it's just like damsel in distress or like I don't know. Get away from me, enemies. Oh, I'm so good at dodging you guys. Oh, I am so good. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, we avoided them all. <laughs> Um, okay. Or, we, we got hurt by one, but we avoided the rest of them, which is cool. I hate avoiding piranha plants, because they're just, like, really hard to avoid, because they kind of, like, teleport to you, almost. Um, it's really annoying. I wonder how that works, actually. Like, is there, like, a network of piranha plants underneath? That would be kind of scary, actually. I'd be terrified. Um, so, we gotta go back to the Crystal Star, uh, main door. Um, so we gotta avoid these guys. And, uh, oh, remember this thing? This, uh, this little flap here? Um, I don't know if I described it in my previous videos, but you can blow it off with Flurry. And we have a badge here. Happy Heart Partner. Um, so basically, uh, your partner will regenerate, uh, hit points. Not a bad badge, but, um, there are better ones that you can equip later on. Um, as again, uh, just matter of preference of your build. And since we're kind of going the Danger Mario build, we can kind of do whatever we want with the build. It's, it'll be pretty uh, versatile for us, so might as well get all the badges, right? Right. Anyways, we're back here at the Crystal Star door, and we just gotta stand here. Here we go again, Mario. Let's see what the uh, let's see that Crystal Star. Wow. What is this place? Oh man, it is floating in the skies. Um, so yeah, that's our next destination. It's a city in the sky. The location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. There it is. Resting on the spot, uh, uh, the, 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 blah, blah, the resting spot of the next Crystal Star. Totally awesome. It looks like it's pointing somewhere up in the sky. Huh? What could that mean? Hmm. Professor Frankly, do you have any things? That means beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. That door has been sealed shut for thousands of years. In order to open that seal, we must muster the power of all the crystal stars. But the question is, why did they seal the legendary treasure uh, way to begin with? I mean, were they just trying to keep it away from being stolen, or what? No, that's not... What? That's not what... I don't know. <laughs> Sheesh, Professor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know the treasure was sealed away uh, around the time the, the town was destroyed. The problem is, no one's even uh, sure what <laughs> what it was that caused the town's demise. All that was written is darkness uh, stole the sky and ca uh, cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming, uh, uh, assuming. 
We'll just make an uh, and well, you know the saying. No, I don't. But whatever. How about this uh, next crystal star then? It's like floating on the magical map. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Blitzville. There's a stunning arena where great warriors engage in furious battles. Sounds like gladiators. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation and lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. It's like floating? Well, how are we supposed to get there then? A special blimp flies there, departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. What? Channels? Stop being mysterious. How do we get seats on the ship? Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is, after all, uh, tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from uh, Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under control of Don Pianta, uh, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianta makes pretty irregular uh, jaunts to Glitzville. No problem, we'll just go meet this guy and we'll be on our way. He may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors say about him are scary. He's a recluse. Just getting an audience will be difficult. Um, so, kind of funny, whenever I hear Frankly talk, I kind of hear uh, Professor Farnsworth, Farnsworth's voice from uh, Futurama talking. Um, but yeah, we gotta see this Don uh, Pianta guy. He is a Pianta, of course. And, uh, yeah, so... I believe this is actually a very good place to stop because we are out of time. But anyways, um... Hi, Luigi. You look like you have a partner like me, but he's all, like, brown. But anyways, we'll talk to Luigi afterwards. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is a good place to stop. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, once again, if you guys like what you see, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I heard those are actually pretty fun to press on my channel. But anyways, um... Yeah, see you guys on the next one.